hey what's going on e from nyc that is me welcome and welcome back last i put out a video i seen i have gained more subscribers thank you everyone that has been subscribing liking commenting and sharing like i mentioned before it costs you nothing monetary to do those things but it does cost you your time and with that being said i appreciate your time i appreciate your time um i need you guys to go watch my vlogs Go run up those numbers over there. I see y'all loving the Q video and I see y'all loving the Brat video and I do appreciate that. I don't want to sound like I'm not appreciative. I, I am appreciative of that, but I need to check out my vlogs too. I want to tell you guys that this channel is an entertainment channel. There's not one specific thing I will be doing on this channel. I'll be doing things such as vlogging, um, celebrity sightings, because I am from New York, so you always see different celebrities. Um, funny things that's going on in the city fun things that's going on in the city city reviews on products and foods and um things of that nature and youtube stuff that i see that i want to report so i'll just label this channel as an entertainment channel so make sure you guys rock with me i want to talk about the vmas the mtv um video music awards not specifically that but Nicki minaj um vanguard award acceptance speech because she got the vanguard award this year so so congratulations nikki so right off the bat let's get into it also want to say i'm very passionate about this conversation we're about to have because um i used to rap back in the early 90s before we even knew of any little kim um brad nikki any of these people i was rapping back then but anyway let's get to it I'm not going to talk about uh, the awards itself, mainly just the speech. And um, as I'm going through YouTube and things of that nature, I see people are making videos about this. So I just want to chime on this. I really wasn't going to do a video about this, but I'm like, let me just uh, give my opinion and how I feel about the situation. So Nicki Minaj and I mentioned Little Kim in her acceptance speech. She didn't thank her. And why should she? She didn't have to. She didn't want to. And she didn't. Good. I wouldn't have either. Why do y'all feel as though every time there's some celebratory moment in Nicki Minaj's life that she should mention Little Kim? I don't, I really don't get it. In the beginning of her career, in the start of her career, any interview that she did, she would mention your research. She would mention those that inspired her to rap. Those that inspired her to get in the industry and so forth so on. She also was mentioning Latifah and Foxy and the rest of female rappers, as I would have done too in the beginning of my career because when I rapped, my inspiration definitely was Queen Latifah. And some of y'all probably be like, I see what, nah, this is, let's talk about me for instance, when I started to rap, Queen Latifah inspired me to want to be in the rap industry, but she didn't inspire me to want to be a rapper. I was inspired a long time ago before I even know who Queen Latifah was. My favorite rapper was KRS-One. So KRS-One, Big Daddy Kane, MC Light, uh, Rakim, Kwame, um, Fat Boys, because I used to beat Bob too, Slick Rick, you know what I'm saying? Um, Coogee Rap. Those people are the people that inspired me to rap. Um, they couldn't have compared me and Queen Latifah in terms of our rap styles and our images because Queen Latifah, this was the lady's first Queen Latifah when she was more Afrocentric and there was nothing Afrocentric about my lyrics. <laughs> Trust me, there wasn't. Those people that I named, like Coogee Rap, and the rap that's the way I rapped. If y'all don't know who Coogee Rap is or um, Karis One and, and, and Rock Him and all that, Go to YouTube and put their name in and you see the way they rap. That's how I rap. I still have my cassettes of me rapping and stuff like that. I just don't have a cassette player because I definitely would let y'all listen. But yeah, those are the people that inspired me to rap. Queen Latifah was the person that inspired me to want to get into the industry. So I'm just talking about me and how I was inspired in terms of the business and inspired in terms of the thing that can get me into the business. But the Little Kim and uh, the Nicki Minaj thing, they they always comparing them because these are two successful, provocative, pushing the envelope female rappers. Now, there have been so many other female rappers that have came out before Nicki Minaj that was trying to push the envelope, but they never had a mainstream song, top 10, a top 20 song. So no one even gave them a second thought, you know what I'm saying? Because once Little Kim came out, that's when all the female rappers and some of the R&B girls started doing the things Little Kim would do and start even talking about the same things um, Little Kim would just doing like Adina Howard. Freak like me, I understand the nostalgia of Little Kim, 
on how her music I was a teenager when little kim came out her pushing the envelope being provocative and being over sexualized and being sexual wasn't my cup of tea but her music and the way it made me feel in terms not even her wording but her music and her hooks and stuff like that always calls for like some party it, it, you just feel good just feel like a good time and i understand that a lot of us want that feeling to sustain and last and stuff like that but what you have to understand that no one in the industry have a forever moment you know what i'm saying you have your moment and then it's time for someone else to have their moment and although we hate that because we want our favorite to have their forever moment it's not gonna happen you know what i'm saying and when you have that moment when you on top you at work and you dip your hands in so many different things when the music industry start treating you unkind you can still be successful in other things because you ventured out i don't know little kim's story but I have known that she have done some things. Of course, she went to jail and all that. And maybe going to jail was the final demise of her career. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But y'all have to stop with that Nicki Minaj thing where y'all don't want her to succeed. She's been winning for a long time now. Even when y'all try to blackball her. And when she was telling y'all that people in the industry was doing certain things to make her seem like she was a bad person. None of y'all didn't want to listen. All y'all heard was wonk, 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 wonk. And then when she proved to y'all, these people were doing these things to blacklist her, to bring other artists out to take her place. When she showed y'all proof and showed y'all receipts, then y'all was like, I knew she was telling the truth. You can't do that. You, can't, you shouldn't pick and choose. You should be able to like whoever you like. Why can't y'all like Nikki and Kim together? Why, why, why not? Cause I do. I like both of them. And for y'all that's always advocating Little Kim, Little Kim, Little Kim and have so much to say about Nicki Minaj, Little Kim have came out with about three to four projects in the past 10 years. I bet you y'all not pumping that. I bet you y'all not downloading those tunes. I bet you y'all can't sing a song on those albums. But instead of embracing both of them and seeing that, you know what I'm saying, they play an intricate part in the rap industry and they are both icons. And they both deserve their flowers. And they both contribute a lot to the rap game. Not only the female rap game, but the rap game in general. Y'all keep putting them against each other. And I think that's what happened. With, I'm not a bar, but I got to bust y'all bubble real quick. Little Kim and Nicki Minaj being inspired by Little Kim had nothing to do with her success. Nothing. You know who had something to do with Nicki Minaj's success? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Young Money. Drake. Wayne. Whomever she look up spiritually. Hard work. Her work ethics. So forth. Little Kim came out decade and some change before Nicki Minaj and the crazy thing about it is that everybody advocating for Little Kim or whatever the case may be because of Nicki Minaj's success and they don't like Nicki for whatever particular reasons and these are successful female rappers I don't understand why you guys don't have Kim on any of your stuff you know what I mean the only female rapper that I seen in the past five years that have had Little Kim on the record with them was Remy Ma. Every other female that talk, all that talk or whatever the case may be, I have not seen it. I have not seen it. If y'all have seen it, let me know. But Remy Ma is the only one and y'all probably like, she had a song. Yeah, she did. And y'all love Little Kim and y'all didn't know that. I bet y'all watching this video didn't even know that Remy Ma and Little Kim had a song together. Yes, they did. Why y'all be so mad when Nicki don't mention Kim? Why do she have to mention Kim? She don't have to ever mention Kim again. She did that in the beginning of her, of her career. She mentioned those that inspired her in the beginning of her career. She don't have to do it. She's almost 20 years in this game. She's going to keep mentioning her every time there's a celebratory um, time in her life. She's going to mention Little Kim. No, she don't. Y'all want Little Kim name to be forever alive in people's minds and stuff like that. That y'all feel as though if Nicki mentioned Kim enough, 
that Kim will regain the success that she had in the 90s. Which y'all know that's not true. Y'all know she's not going to regain that success that she had in the 90s. Every so and so amount of years, there's going to be a new female rapper that does something that make people eyes open. There's always artists that's going to push the envelope. We are in the days of the internet that people are always trying to be different. People are always trying to push the envelope. How many times you came across a video on YouTube or you came across a video on Instagram and you're like, they trying too hard to be famous. They are trying too hard. Listen, we will all want Kim and Nikki to be in good grace. Like, we want that. It would have been dope to see a collab, to see all of us that like Nikki and like Kim, we all wanted to see something pop off in terms of some music together, tour together, you know what I'm saying? Something great together, whatever. This inspo and everything. Just look at YouTube, for instance. How many times you come across a channel that remind you of each other? All the time. And there's a lot of YouTubers out there that take ideas from smaller channels like mine and never give credit to the smaller channel and do a killing in the views and subscribers. And then when someone come across a smaller channel like mine that came up with the idea in the first place, they feel as though the smaller channel is taking from the other channel. And it's like, no, that was my original idea, but nobody's going to believe the smaller channel because the smaller channel is the small channel. I'm saying we get inspiration from everybody. Was Nikki inspired? She said, yeah, she was inspired. How she was inspired? I don't know if she ever mentioned that. Y'all don't understand how ridiculous it sounds for y'all to think that every time this woman get an accolade or, you know, she's being celebrated, that she should mention someone that she used to listen to their music back in the days that, and then help her get to her status, that she was just someone that she seen that gave her inspiration. She mentioned Foxy, because Foxy is someone that's in her life, and Foxy also inspired her as well. That just is what it is. You're not going to mention people that you aren't friends with, no matter what. <laughs> She's not obligated to thank Kim or anything, any award show, any album release, nothing. Y'all have to get over it, you know. Please do with your comments and all that because whatever you say is not going to change my mind or my tune about the situation. You know what I'm saying? Everybody borrows something from somebody. And um, the conversation of if it wasn't for her, it wasn't her dad, just that one right there. The, out of everything they say about Kim and Nikki, if it because I hate when they, if it wasn't for Aaliyah, there wouldn't be no Beyonce. They People don't understand how ridiculous they sound when they say stuff like that. It, it's just crazy. It's just, some people just be talking just to talk. Right? Leave your comments and all that other stuff. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend so we can all be friends. All that good stuff. Um, friends, I mean, this conversation right here, I never have this type of conversation with friends because it's not something to be had. Like It's, like, it's ridiculous. I like them both, and I'm always going to like them both. And they all, both of them... For the time that they came out, gave good music. Nikki's still giving good music. Kim, I don't know what she's doing, but yeah, I like them both.